Welcome back, Ramblers. As you could tell from the last video, we are in beautiful Northern California. We showed you the trees of mystery, and now it's time to show you where we're staying, how we got there, and what else we have going on. From I-5 South, we connected to Highway 199. 199 had a few curves through the redwoods that required a little patience. Oh, those woods were fun. Were those fun, honey? No, no, it was not. You it didn't was, like that? It was not fun. <laughs> you did a good job. Never again. Yeah, you did That's it once. It. Did it once. That's it. Once through that, we drove through Crescent City, south on 101, past beautiful scenic coastal views, past the trees of mystery, and right into the Mystic Forest RV Park. Home for the next three nights as we explore the area of Northern California. They left some the leftovers basically on the picnic table. Both of them went and nap in the tent site. And then so so we get a call right here, and it's her calling from the tent site. She says, there's a bear on the picnic table. Maya and I take her stuff to make some noise to hush him away, right? So we go there with a golf cart, and just before hushing him away, she said, just like a few shots, and then we hushed him away. After checking in with Patrick, we call it a day. The next morning, we visit the Trees of Mystery. Be sure to check that video out. Then we head into Crescent City at just 20 minutes north on Highway 101. It's a Cape Cod style lighthouse, is what they said. Yeah, it, came, it was uh, built in 1856 and it was decommissioned in 1952, 1960, around there when it went automated. It was manned for at least 100 years. And then the longest light keeper that was living there was 39 years. That's how long he stayed there. That was the longest, uh, that's a long time to wow. be at a job. Oh. I'll tell you that much. See some tide pools down here and stuff. So it's yeah. a really neat little area. It's really pretty. Yeah, really windy, but uh, it's beautiful. I like the windy coast. Without the wind, you won't see uh, the waves. explore and check out a few different places because you always want to see maybe where the locals are hanging out too. Definitely there's a lot of people here having a good time. It's a cute place. They make all their own beers here and they had a great selection. That was good, yeah. Porta pints. What a the, the beer was good. It was a cool atmosphere, and that we were in the back room there. They had all their awards, had all their medals lined up on the walls. They had a guitar from the Rolling Stones signed by all the members. It was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yep, great beer, great beers, huh? Now, we went to two totally different places, and I recommend them both for yeah. two totally different reasons, two totally different atmospheres. Yeah, this one's a little more family-oriented just because of the space, and it's more of a, you know, more of an event center, it seems like, compared to the other one. The other one had a wider selection of beers. This one has more IPAs. This is a good sour. I mean, honestly, for me, rating sours, this is one of my favorite sours. It has blackberry puree and zesty lime, and notes of jam and citrus. You can taste the blackberry, you can taste the lime, it's good. So now we need to have the food. Abby and Jason from RV Miles just recently talked about these cheese curds and how their son loved them, and they came here. So I was like, we're coming here, let's check them out. Mmm. Yeah. 
we were gonna get two appetizers. I think this is gonna be, I'm this already be, full. Yeah. It got really busy in there all of a sudden. Yeah, Come on, so it, it had to be a good place if it's really busy. Good beers, Miguel, he was our server. He did an awesome job. Yeah. Yeah, they did have some fine beers. The uh, the cheese curds were good. It was like a mozzarella stick, but better. We had a sour and we had the- uh, Peach, peach wheat. The peach wheat beer. And yeah. Great, fantastic. The menu looked great as we were walking out. Yeah, everything's, food, you know, everything good. was locally sourced, he said. So the cheese curds came just from like three blocks away at, at uh, I don't know, cheese Romanoffs. Factory. Yeah, the cheese factory, the local cheese factory. And then the, be the beef for the burgers and the steaks or whatever they got, they need beef for, comes from like 15 minutes away. You know, I like it that they incorporate everything from the local areas. Yep, so. good variety of beers. But the service was fantastic. Yeah. Miguel was, Miguel was great. He was yep. good. Wow, look at this rig. <laughs> I need one of those for my midlife crisis. Damn. Instead, I get a Jeep. So the big tree is really easy. All you have to do is park and walk 20 steps and you're here. So if you just wanted to pull over to come check out the big tree, it's a very mm. simple walk for a family. But there are several trails off of here that you could walk with your family and do a total of two miles, which is still easy. Very easy trails, very easy walks, and check out how big this tree is. <laughs> See that? That's a payphone. What? Yeah, look at that. Wait, this is for all those who don't know what this is. I bet you it's a dollar now. Oh. Oh, my it's only 50 cents for local calls. What? Two, mi two minutes for a dollar worldwide. Wow. That's amazing. I haven't, I don't even remember the last time I seen one. Yeah. When was the last time you seen one? It's been a while. <laughs> Many videos you'll see people stop by here because they want to see the elk. You'll see herds and herds of elk out here. Um, maybe today we'll get lucky and see one, but they even have the signs showing to stay back and not approach them because the, many times you'll see 20 or 30 elk out here. Well, it looks like we found them. Uh, all we had to do is drive around the corner a little bit, and there is, well, it looks like about 10 or 12 elk sitting out there right now. All right, so here's the deal. I have watched several videos on visiting Fern Canyon and how gorgeous and beautiful it is and how it was in one of the Jurassic Park films and just what an amazing hike it is. And I've heard people say it was so cool driving through these two little creeks and you know, you might wanna have a four wheel drive and blah, 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 but nobody shared. And it just depends on who you are. But that was a very narrow, narrow road. It was very curvy, very hilly. And when you come upon another vehicle, I mean, you really have to make some space. I, I don't know. I just want to be honest. So we're going to show you some of that drive because I need you to know about that because nobody bothered to mention that. Nobody really detailed this drive out to Fern Canyon. 
Fern Canyon's probably going to be amazing. It's probably going to be gorgeous. I don't want to deter anybody from going there because it's one of the top places. But, <laughs> I mean, this is a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road. This is not a big deal, though, honestly. A lot of potholes, a lot of bumps. See, there you go. This one, at least, is not narrow. But the eight miles or six miles to here was pretty darn narrow and crazy so yeah, winding winding through the forest it was a little uh, it was a little harrowing you know because you had those hairpin turns and your visibility isn't any more than a hundred feet or less and so when you when you're creeping up around the corner you need to be looking out for headlights or well, hopefully somebody has their headlights on and so. other vehicles yeah so so I want you to know that because now all I can think about is getting through this hike because I we have that drive back and maybe it's just me but I'm just saying we have that drive back big pothole ahead huge potholes ahead uh, yeah so this is the dirt part that people talked about and yet oh boy you know wow right <laughs> Yeah, wow. well, this isn't even fun off-roading. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's just it's just a pain in the butt. It's just a pain in the butt. But we'll see. We'll see if it's worth it. So I'm glad you guys are coming along here to enjoy this with us. Now they said cars have come through here. Many people with cars have come through here. I'm surprised. I would. I, would no, I wouldn't not take drive a car. My, no. no. You either, right? No. I wouldn't drive my car through here. Maybe when we we're young and we we're stupid. But uh, here we are. We're already this far into it. So let's see how this goes. As far as what I said, I have seen a couple cars out here, but mostly trucks and yeah, I you know, but I, I don't I, know. It's all up to you if you want to take your car. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend it if it's a really dry summer. I guess if it's a really dry summer, you could, but it's still a lot of big bumps. All right, Fern Canyon, and this is how easy it is. It is showing right here one, just like what? Not even a mile. Oh, point one. <laughs> I like that. That's funny. Here. Hi. Good. Hi. So you can choose your own adventure. You can go in the water. You can go on the little logs. You can go on the big log. Which one are you going to do? I don't know. What's the best way? I don't know. You got different choices. I wish that was wider. I yeah. see your ballet days paid right. off. I will catch the next one. <laughs> he, I, I'm, I, I'm, going with, he, I'm going with him. I think you're taking a chance doing the skinny log. <laughs> I still think I'll made do better. It. Baby, I don't want to do it. Is this waterproof right now? No. Here, toss it. Just toss it ready? here. Yeah. So you catch it. Yeah. There you go. You should have filmed me. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. I did it. <laughs> oh, oh I, it was recording. If I would have known he was behind me, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> so these might have gotten washed out a little bit is what happened. You got more acrobatics because during the drier season, people will put more logs out here for you, but they do get washed out. Oh, okay. It will get worse down there. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm not beyond a little help, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Here. Well, that moved. Here. <laughs> jump, thank you, jump, glad jump. you were there. Glad you were there. See, I took his hand. So it's either Jurassic Park 2 or Jurassic Park 3 was filmed in this area of Fern Canyon. And this is gorgeous. Here we go. <laughs> this is actually the most water I've seen in any of the videos. Oh, this goes uh... way back. I knew we were going to have a lot more rain than I've seen in some of the videos. And a lot. Yeah, this. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You say, yep. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. So we have been told by many other channels that this is just magical and majestic and amazing. And yes, I hope this shows through. It is absolutely like you are in Jurassic Park. It is 
so gorgeous, wouldn't you say? I mean, it is. Yeah, it's cool. It's, uh, yeah, it reminds us of the, uh, the Columbia Gorge as far as, you know, some of the trails like the Oneonta Falls you know, that we can no longer go on anymore. But uh, maybe someday. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, this is absolutely amazing. But we're going to be honest with you. We are here during April after a lot of rain. So you can yeah. see this creek running through here. We have traversed through a few logs already. I knew oh. better because we had heard from people wear high hiking boots or wear water socks. And I was going to bring them. Instead, we just brought an extra pair of shoes and socks. So when we're done, we'll change out of these. And we're just decided not to challenge ourselves anymore with walking over logs and around logs and possibly hurting our ankles. Somebody just hurt their ankle back there and said, you know what, we're just gonna go through the water. We're just gonna go right through the water, get wet feet, because we're not doing miles of hiking in this area. We're just gonna walk for maybe a mile. So we decided to just get our feet wet. Actually, it kind of feels good. So you can choose, but make sure tall hiking boots, or water socks. But in the summer, a lot of this creek will be down a lot lower. We've seen people come through here and not have as much water to go through. All right, check this out. Okay. Now it's gonna make the trail a lot easier because now we just <laughs> gave up. We're just walking through the water. <laughs> it was fun, you know, but yeah. once I saw her hurt her ankle, I was like, I'm done. Yeah, well, I'd rather have uh, wet feet and wet socks than a, a twisted ankle out yeah. in the middle of Jurassic uh, wilderness here. Absolutely, so, yeah. let's go. To make it simple. We made it to the end right now. The, the stairs are just right behind us. And so you oh, can you continue. Can show them. Yeah, they can they can see. They can see the steps. Yeah. And uh, oh, there they are, the people who just yeah. left are up there. Yeah, they're right up right up there. So right now we are at the end and we're at the steps and we're just gonna double back. And we're not gonna go any further right now. We're just gonna keep on staying wet. Yeah, we mainly just wanted to see the canyon. We've heard how beautiful this canyon is, and it is beautiful, so it is worth driving out here, checking out this canyon. And we have dry shoes and socks back in the uh, Jeep. And uh, and so, yeah, we're just gonna go back. And we decided, like I said, we, you know, just get wet. You know, someone already twisted their ankle. Yeah. You know, you know, trying to negotiate these logs. So it's, I'd rather be wet and cold than uh, swollen and pissed off. But lessons so. to be, lessons, <laughs> lessons, <laughs> Lessons to be learned. Yep, so pros and cons, things to learn, but this was gorgeous. It's very majestic, like everybody said, uh, but very neat place, and we are heading back. Yeah, I think we'll see you back at the Jeep there. We're not going to take any more photos. We just want to enjoy the trail on the way back. Good so. idea. Yep. All right, see you back at the Jeep. All right, Ramblers, here we are. We got, look at this. Dry, That's some dry, dry shoes, I'm dry. dry socks. I'm dry. Yeah. Yep, so we're back at the Jeep here. We did prepare just in case we knew. Yeah. So I have to say the adventure of this, the true adventure though, I feel is the drive. <laughs> That's just me. The drive yeah. was, it was one heck of a drive out here. But the beauty, definitely beauty, when you get to the Fern Canyon, it is just beautiful. But the true adventure really is probably that drive. So it's yeah, worth can, coming out here. Yeah, I can hear the ocean, so. Yep, so this is another trail right off of the parking lot. Yeah, well, I think this might be the end of the road here. We're done getting wet. For you, yeah. <laughs> We're done with wet and puddles. It's April. We could probably find a way around, but this is a good time to remind you to hit like. And if you're not a rambler, hit subscribe. Just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing. And you would become a rambler and be rambling around with us, and you'd be notified every time we're rambling somewhere. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of our next video as we have a conversation with Patrick, owner of the Mystic Forest RV Park, and about his family's escape from LA to the Redwood Forest. Thanks for watching, Ramblers.